Hi, it's me, Teacher Noel. Welcome back to Soundsco Music Lessons for Beginners. Have you practiced your chords from the last video? If not, let's try reviewing it again. We have the D chord. We have the A minor chord. And last, the E minor. Great! Now keep practicing those chords one at a time. Now, let's add more chords to your knowledge. First, let's start with the C chord. I'm going to show you in this position. I'm going to dictate to you all the fingerings. Okay? C chord. First finger goes to the second string on the first fret. Second string, first fret. Okay, make sure it's good sound. Next, second finger on the fourth string, second fret. Last, we have the third finger on the fifth string, third fret. There is your C chord. Don't forget that your thumb should always be at the back of the neck. Like this. Don't do this or this or sometimes this. Always behind the neck of the guitar. Sometimes it's hard to place your fingers so you have to stretch them out a little bit. You can do a little stretching for that, like this. Do this. The next chord that we're going to learn is the G chord. So your first finger goes to the fifth string on the second fret. Your third finger on the sixth string on the third fr fret. Your third finger goes to the first string on the third fret. Make sure that you curve all your fingers like this. You're gonna play it? All the strings, okay? Again. Your G chord. Now the disadvantage of this chord is when you change to another chord. For example, from G to C. That's why I urge you to keep on practicing your chords. Let's play G chord. Hold it for about five seconds until the sound is gone. Again. So this is all the chords that we've learned so far. We have the D. We have the A minor, the E minor, C, and then G. Now, we're going to play each chord for two seconds and then change to another chord and play it for two seconds. Now, remember, you can always use four or five seconds, whichever is easier for you at first. Okay? So, let's start with... D chord, one, two, then change to A minor, one, two, then E minor, one, two, C, one, two, then G, one, two. If your guitar is not sounding right, make sure that you place your fingers right. For example, on this D chord, I always make sure all my fingers are curved. And the tip, this is advice, use the tip of your fingers to press the chords. A minor, again, the tip of your fingers. Don't forget that when you press them, never press using your thumb at the back. This is only a support for your fingers on the front. 
the real power is on the tip of your fingers, not your thumb. That's it for now. This is all the chords that you have learned. So keep on practicing and practice and practice. See you on our next Sound School Music Lessons. Bye.